Vincent Price, the iconic actor, was born into a family of art lovers in St. Louis, Missouri. His father worked as the president of the National Candy Company, sparking Price's interest in business. However, it was during his studies at Yale University that Price discovered his true passion for acting. Surrounded by a creative environment, he delved into theater and honed his craft. Price's early exposure to the stage kindled a fire within him, setting him on a path towards a successful acting career. Throughout his journey, Price encountered key influencers and mentors who further ignited his love for the performing arts. One notable figure was stage actress Helen Hayes, who inspired and guided him towards a deeper understanding of acting techniques. Price also found inspiration in the works of renowned playwrights such as William Shakespeare, whose plays fueled his desire to excel in the dramatic arts. These early influences played a significant role in shaping Vincent Price's career as an actor, paving the way for his future success. With a strong foundation laid during his formative years, Price went on to become a celebrated figure in the world of entertainment, leaving behind a lasting legacy that continues to inspire aspiring performers to this day. Vincent Price was a well-known actor who left a lasting impact on the film industry. Have you ever been inspired by Vincent Price? What qualities do you believe make him a timeless figure in entertainment? Share your cherished memories and experiences about this classic star in the comments below. Also, stay tuned for some interesting, funny, shocking, and sad facts about him in this video. From a young age, Vincent Price displayed a keen interest in the arts, particularly in the realm of theater and film. As a child, he was captivated by the magic of the stage, often attending local productions and dreaming of one day gracing the spotlight himself. This passion only grew stronger as he matured, and after completing his education, the actor found himself drawn to the world of acting. His first major breakthrough came when he landed a role in the 1938 film service Deluxe, which showcased his versatility and range as a performer. This early success fueled his desire to continue honing his craft, and he soon found himself immersed in the world of theater, starring in numerous productions both on Broadway and in regional theaters. It was during this time that the actor truly discovered his passion for the macabre and the supernatural, a theme that would come to define much of his later work. His portrayal of the sinister and enigmatic characters in classic horror, films like The House of Usher and The Pit and The Pendulum cemented his reputation as a master of the genre, and his performances continue to captivate audiences to this day. Throughout his illustrious career, Vincent Price remained dedicated to his craft, constantly seeking new challenges and pushing the boundaries of his ability. From his early days on the stage to his iconic roles in some of the most beloved horror films of all time, the actor's passion for his work never wavered, and his legacy as one of the most beloved and influential figures in the entertainment industry remains undiminished. Vincent Price was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1911. His father owned an executive glass making company, and his mother was passionate about art. Price's early exposure to art and culture influenced his love for theater and acting. While studying at Yale, he performed in various plays, sparking his interest in a career in acting. Price's deep, distinctive voice became his trademark, leading him to excel in horror films and thrillers. He starred in iconic movies like House of Wax and The Fly, cementing his status as a legendary actor in the horror genre. Price's early life experiences and family's influence played a pivotal role in shaping his successful acting career. The actor faced significant challenges early in his career. Financial struggles and industry skepticism were major obstacles. However, through resilience and determination, he found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles. From finding alternative sources of income to showcasing his talent through diverse roles, he navigated the difficulties with grace and perseverance. Despite the initial setbacks, the actor's unwavering commitment to his craft eventually led to success in the film industry. Vincent Price portrayed Paul Toombs in the movie Madhouse, marking his 23rd film for American International. Clips from his previous AI films such as The Pit and The Pendulum, Tales of Terror, The Raven, and Scream, and Scream Again were included in this production. In the closing scene and credits of Madhouse, it's Vincent Price's singing voice that we hear. Additionally, Vincent Price played prosecutor Vital Dutour in the song of Bernadette. While his character in the movie is shown as an atheist and anti-religious persecutor, Vincent Price's real-life counterpart, Dutour was a devout Catholic who believed Bernadette Suburas's visions were hallucinations. 
Vincent Price's career was marked by several breakthrough moments that solidified his reputation as a legendary actor. One such pivotal point was his role in the classic horror film House of Wax in 1953. This iconic performance showcased his talent for portraying eerie and captivating characters, earning him critical acclaim and establishing him as a leading figure in the horror genre. Another turning point in Vincent Price's career was his involvement in the cult classic Theater of Blood in 1973. This film highlighted his versatility as an actor, allowing him to showcase a darker and more complex character, further solidifying his status as a master of his craft. Throughout his career, peers, critics, and collaborators consistently praised Price for his unique ability to bring depth and sophistication to his roles. His dedication to his craft and his passion for storytelling were evident in every project he undertook, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. These pivotal moments in Vincent Price's career not only showcased his incredible talent, but also solidified his legacy as a true icon of the silver screen. His contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated and revered by audiences worldwide, cementing his status as a timeless and influential actor. In House of Wax, the actor portrayed Professor Henry Jared, a sculptor who faced personal demons. Originally, the character was a heroin addict in the 1933 film Mystery of the Wax Museum. However, strict production code rules required this to be changed for the remake. Despite this, the actor had previously tackled themes of drug addiction as a character in Dragonwick, filmed in 1945. In another film, The Invisible Man Returns, he took on the role of Jeffrey Radcliffe. Shooting for this movie lasted from October to December 1939, and it was released shortly after the actor's other film, Green Hell, which premiered a day earlier. Beyond acting, he gained attention for his appearance on the game, show the 64,000 question in 1955, where he won 32,000. This success showcased his broad talents and made him a household name. The actor's diverse roles and engagements contributed to his lasting legacy in film and television. Vincent Price's approach to acting is deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Drawing from his background in art history and his extensive knowledge of literature, Price brings a unique depth and sophistication to his performances. His theatrical background, combined with a love for the macabre and a refined sense of elegance, sets him apart from his peers in the industry. Price's ability to embody complex characters with a sense of mystery and menace is a testament to his understanding of psychology and his dedication to his craft. Through his work, he often explores themes of darkness, death, and the supernatural, reflecting his own fascination with these subjects. This has earned him a reputation as a master of horror and suspense, captivating audiences with his rich voice and expressive performances that linger long after the screen fades to black. Price's artistic vision is unmistakably his own, shaped by a life filled with diverse experiences and a keen understanding of storytelling. His ability to infuse his roles with a combination of charisma and menace creates an unforgettable on-screen presence. Whether portraying a charming villain or a tormented soul, Price's performances always carry a sense of depth and complexity that draws viewers in. His distinctive style, marked by a balance of sophistication and horror, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and inspired countless actors and filmmakers. In conclusion, Vincent Price's artistic vision and process are a testament to his passion for storytelling, his deep understanding of character psychology, and his unique blend of elegance and darkness. His personal experiences and worldview shine through in his work, enriching his performances with a depth and complexity that have solidified his legacy as a true master of his craft. Vincent Price's first wife, Edith Barrett, gave birth to his son Vincent Leonard Price III on August 30, 1940. In House of Wax, Vincent Price played Professor Henry Jared. Since the film was to be shot in both Technicolor and 3D, efforts were made to make Price's makeup realistic, resulting in a patchwork of hideous burns that shocked audiences. This caused Warner Brothers employees to react strongly, with Price even being banished from the studio commissary due to his startling appearance. Additionally, in Dr. Goldfoot, and the bikini machine. Goldfoot's ancestors' portraits included likenesses of various characters portrayed by the actor, such as Verdon Fell from the Tomb of Lygia and Roderick Usher from House of Usher. Vincent Price, the iconic actor, has made significant contributions to the industry through his unique style and memorable performances. His influence on trends, techniques, and storytelling is widely recognized by industry experts and those he has inspired. 
Price's ability to portray complex characters with depth and charisma has set a standard for aspiring actors to emulate. Industry experts praise his versatility and impact on shaping the horror genre, with his chilling performances becoming legendary in the film industry. Price's timeless work continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers and actors to push boundaries and explore the depths of character portrayal. His contributions have left an indelible mark on the industry, cementing his legacy as a true visionary. In The Raven, the actor plays Dr. Erasmus Craven, a character entwined in a tale of sorcery and revenge. A notable scene features Boris Karloff's castle engulfed in flames, utilizing footage from another film directed by Roger Corman, House of Usher, which also starred the actor. This classic showcases his talent in adapting Edgar Allan Poe's works into compelling horror narratives. Born to Marguerite Cobb, Daisy, and Vincent Leonard Price, he came from a family with a creative background. His grandfather, Vincent Clarence Price, was an inventor who created Dr. Price's baking powder, marking a significant contribution to culinary history as the first cream of tartar-based baking powder. In The Tingler, he portrays Dr. Warren Chapin, exploring the concept of fear. This film includes Judith Evelyn, who had previously shared the stage with him in 1941 during the Broadway production of Angel Street, which is based on the play Gaslight by Patrick Hamilton. Their collaboration on stage highlights the actor's range and ability to engage audiences, both in theater and film. Vincent Price was not only known for his acting, but also for his appreciation of art. His personal values and interests in art history greatly influenced his work in the film industry. Outside of acting, he was passionate about the visual arts, and even authored several books on the subject. Price's interest in art history informed his performances, adding depth and sophistication to his roles. Additionally, Vincent Price was involved in various philanthropic efforts, particularly championing the preservation of historical landmarks. He believed in the importance of conserving cultural heritage and actively supported causes focused on preserving art and architecture. Vincent Price's dedication to art and philanthropy showcased his multifaceted personality beyond his on-screen presence. Vincent Price played Dr. Erasmus Craven in The Raven. Roger Corman said Peter Lohr's improvisations confused Price and Boris Karloff, with Price adapting well while Karloff struggled. Price's ashes were scattered off the Californian coast of Malibu with his favorite gardening hat. A transcript of a Q&A session with Price at a 1990s Fangoria convention is in Tom Weaver's book Attack of the Monster Movie Makers. Vincent Price, the famous actor, has left a lasting legacy within the entertainment industry. Known for his captivating performances in classic horror films, he has become an iconic figure in the world of cinema. His distinct voice and unforgettable presence have made him a timeless star whose influence can still be felt today. Looking towards the future, one can envision Vincent Price continuing to inspire aspiring professionals in the field of acting. His dedication to his craft, attention to detail, and ability to truly inhabit his role serve as valuable lessons for those looking to make a mark in the industry. By studying his work and paying attention to his techniques, aspiring actors can learn from one of the greats and strive for excellence in their own performances. For those hoping to pursue a career in acting, Vincent Price's advice would likely focus on the importance of passion, perseverance, and continuous learning. He would likely emphasize the need to immerse oneself in the art of acting, constantly honing one's skills, and pushing boundaries to become the best performer possible. Price might also stress the significance of staying true to oneself and bringing authenticity to every role undertaken. In conclusion, Vincent Price's legacy as an actor is one that will endure for generations to come. His impact on the film industry is undeniable, and his contributions continue to shape the way we think about acting and storytelling. Aspiring professionals can learn a great deal from his work and his approach to the craft, paving the way for future success in the world of entertainment. Vincent Price, known for his diverse roles, portrayed Professor Hubert Whitehead in The Brady Bunch and the inventor in Edward Scissorhands. In The Brady Bunch, he is the only non-regular actor to appear in two episodes in a spin-off. Not even Alan Melvin achieved this. The role of the inventor was tailor-made for him in Edward Scissorhands, showing his unique talent. Additionally, Vincent Price was a vocal advocate for gay rights, using his platform to support the movement. These facts shed light on his versatility and advocacy. Vincent Price's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by a deep passion for his craft an innovative spirit that brought characters to life, and an enduring impact that continues to influence the world of film and theater. 
His dedication to his roles and his ability to bring a sense of authenticity to each character he portrayed set him apart as a true master of his art. Through his work, he showed the power of creativity and perseverance in leaving a lasting legacy that inspires others to pursue their dreams with the same fervor and commitment. Vincent Price's impact on the entertainment industry serves as a testament to the transformative power of one's imagination and dedication to their craft. Vincent Price stands out in The Last Man on Earth for speaking his own lines as Dr. Robert Morgan. In House of Usher, the actor transformed into Roderick Usher by dyeing his hair blonde and shaving his mustache. Later in life, he signed Dolores Del Rio instead of his name to honor a promise made, ensuring her name lived on. Vincent Price served as the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of the comic book superhero Doctor Strange. At the age of 52, this classic was the model for Stephen Strange, whose full name coincidentally matches Price's own. In While the City Sleeps, he portrayed Walter Kine alongside George Sanders, both renowned for delving into the darker sides of characters and excelling when portraying roles that went against expectations. Additionally, the actor shared a friendship with his Batman co-star, Yvonne Craig. Vincent Price's influence continues to resonate in the worlds of both comics and cinema. During the filming of The Invisible Man Returns, there were communication issues because the German director didn't speak English. Vincent Price, who knew German well, had to translate the instructions for the rest of the cast. In Edward Scissorhands, Leonard Nimoy was Tim Burton's backup choice for the inventor if Vincent Price couldn't do it. Between 1977 and 1980, the actor performed over 800 times in the US and Australia in his one-man show Diversions and Delights, where he portrayed Oscar Wilde in 1899. The play, directed by Joseph Hardy, showcased Price's talent in smaller, more intimate venues. Vincent Price hosted BBC Radio's The Price of Fear, was a member of St. Victor's, and his wife Coral Brown was buried there with a Mozart Requiem Mass. He appeared in three Oscar Best Picture nominees, The Song of Bernadette Wilson and The Ten Commandments. Vincent Price, known for his role as Shelby Carpenter in Laura, also collaborated with Dame Judith Anderson in The Ten Commandments. During the 1970s, the actor expressed admiration for George C. Scott as his favorite contemporary actor, while Cary Grant held the position of his all-time favorite. Despite being retired, his portrayal of Francois de Lombre in The Fly contributed to his rise as the king of horror in Hollywood. The success of House of Wax and The Tingler further solidified his reputation. This led to above-the-title billing and various low-budget adaptations of Edgar Allan Poe stories directed by Roger Corman in the early 1960s, all of which proved profitable. In Canada, some viewers remember this actor for his narration on the hilarious House of Frightenstein. He brought a unique flair to the show, which has become a cult favorite. In The Haunted Palace, he portrayed Charles Dexter Ward, showcasing his talent in horror films. He also starred alongside Deborah Paget in the blockbuster film by Cecil B. DeMille. The Ten Commandments, demonstrating his versatility in various genres. Another notable role was as Dr. Goldfoot in Dr. Goldfoot and The Bikini Machine. This film included a dungeon and torture sequence that used long shots of him from the pit and the pendulum. The art direction for the torture chamber was handled by the same art director, Daniel Holler. These scenes echoed his earlier work in Edgar Allan Poe adaptations for Roger Corman, where he also starred. His performances in these films left a lasting impact on the genre and continue to be appreciated by fans today. Vincent Price made an impact on many. Lillian Gish once referred to him as Prince Albert. In the Raven, Price's role as Dr. Rasmus Craven inspired Marvel's Doctor Strange. Price even modeled for the comic's character. His image was featured in Milton Bradley games like Hangman in the 1970s. These connections demonstrate Price's lasting influence in the entertainment world. Initially, he voted for the Republican candidate Wendell Wilkie in the 1940 presidential election, influenced by his conservative parents. However, his views changed significantly over time, and he became a devoted liberal Democrat, engaging actively in political issues in Hollywood. In his acting career, he was originally cast in the film Forever Amber in 1947, but after a month of filming, the project was put on hold for script revisions. As a result, he was dropped from the cast and replaced by Richard Green. Despite this setback, the actor found success in other areas. He lent his voice to Michael Jackson's iconic song and music video Thriller in 1983. This collaboration contributed to the project becoming a platinum-selling record. 
With his distinctive voice and unique style, he left a lasting impact on both film and music, showcasing his versatility and adaptability in the entertainment industry. Vincent Price starred as Dr. Goldfoot in the film Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine. In this classic, the actor received top billing, with Frankie Avalon, Dwayne Hickman, Susan Hart, and Jack Maloney following in second to fifth billing positions. Known for his superstitions, he lightheartedly shared a story about keeping a horseshoe, a crucifix, and a mezuzah on his front door. Additionally, Price portrayed Charles Dexter Ward in another film titled The Haunted Palace, a movie that draws inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe's works. It's interesting to note that this role connects to Price's previous portrayal of Roderick Usher in The Fall of the House of Usher, directed by Roger Corman as part of his Poe film series. Overall, Vincent Price left a memorable mark in the world of cinema with his diverse roles and unique anecdotes. Vincent Price portrayed Locke in Tales of Terror. For the character of Fortunato in The Black Cat, the actor drew inspiration from Ernie Kovacs' TV persona, Percy Dovetansel's. His acting career began at London's Gate Theatre. In The Raven, Vincent Price played Dr. Erasmus Craven. The production, which also starred Boris Karloff and Peter Lorre, marked one of director Roger Corman's most successful films, with box office earnings exceeding $1.5 million. Vincent Price carried his versatile talent across different roles, from mysterious figures to comedic characters, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Vincent Price, known for his roles in classic movies like House of Wax and House of Usher, had diverse interests beyond acting. The actor was a lover of fine art and generously donated pieces to East Los Angeles College, where an art museum now bears his name. Additionally, Price found joy in cooking and even authored a book of recipes. Following the filming of House of Usher, artist Bert Schoenberg's paintings were gifted to the cast and crew, with director Roger Corman receiving Price's portrait. During a guest appearance on Batman in 1966, Price playfully started an egg-throwing battle while portraying the villainous character Egghead. This classic icon's off-screen pursuits added depth to his already storied career. Vincent Price portrayed Lord Harry Almsbury in the film Forever Amber. Memories vary on how long Peggy Cummins filmed the feature. Lip Magazine claimed 39 days, Philip Dunn recalled 6 to 10 weeks, while Price stated 2 months. The February 1989 edition of Films in Review supports Price's estimate due to the many production stills taken. In Batman, Adam West's autobiography mentions fond friendships with Frank Gorshin and Cliff Robertson and deep respect for Caesar Romero, Vincent Price, and Burgess Meredith. Alan Napier is described as quiet, while Neil Hamilton is noted as challenging to work with. House of Usher marked the initial collaboration between Roger Corman and Vincent Price. Vincent Price arrived in London in 1934-5 to study art and frequented the theater, sparking his passion for acting. This led him to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. In the Comedy of Terrors, he portrayed Waldo Trumbull, and he shared the screen with Beverly Powers in More Dead Than Alive in 1969. The actor also embodied Cardinal Richelieu in The Three Musketeers, and reprised this role in another rendition of the classic tale in 1960. Vincent Price's journey from art student to renowned actor showcases his versatility and dedication to his craft. Vincent Price, the renowned actor, married actress Coral Brown at the age of 60 after meeting on the set of Theatre of Blood. In The Last Man on Earth, he portrayed Dr. Robert Morgan. To make the survival scenes more realistic, Vincent Price insisted on using real people instead of dummies, showing his dedication. However, for safety, he used dummies in certain scenes, like the pit sequence. In the film Madhouse, his character Paul Toombs is honored with scenes from the pit and the pendulum at a costume party, highlighting Price's own work in another classic film. Vincent Price's commitment to his craft and memorable performances continue to captivate audiences. Vincent Price appeared as a special guest star in The Muppet Show. The show struggled to book guest stars initially, but Vincent Price, along with Joel Grey, gladly accepted Jim Henson's invitation. He played pivotal roles at the Leala Playhouse in California, such as in The Winslow Boy and Billy Budd, contributing to the theater's success. In the Comedy of Terrors, Vincent Price portrayed Waldo Trumbull. After a memorable sword fight with Peter Lohr, he exclaimed, Oh, what a night! This classic premiered on December 25, 1963, coincidentally matching the lyrics of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons song released in 1975. Vincent Price's versatility and talent shone through in these roles, making him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment.
during breaks in the long filming of the Song of Bernadette, the actor and former co-star George Macready opened an art gallery called the Little Gallery. Vincent Price served on the board of directors of the Los Angeles County Museum for decades. In the film Laura, Price portrayed Shelby Carpenter, alongside Jean Tierney, Dame Judith Anderson, and Dana Andrews, who all passed away within three years of each other. The actor was not only a notable figure in film, but also had a background in education. He began his career as a teacher in New York, sharing his knowledge and passion for the arts with students. His journey in education started after he graduated from St. Louis Country Day School in St. Louis, Missouri. This foundation and teaching influenced his later work and public persona. In 1951, he established the Vincent Price Gallery, an art foundation at the East Los Angeles Community College. The gallery serves as a platform for arts education and appreciation, reflecting his lifelong interest in art. Now celebrating its 45th year, the foundation continues to promote the visual arts and inspire future generations. Through his endeavors in education and the arts, the actor made lasting contributions to the cultural landscape that resonate today. Vincent Price converted to Catholicism after marrying Coral Brown, who was Roman Catholic. Brown, an Australian-born actress, became an American citizen for the actor. Sesame Street created a puppet in Vincent's likeness named Vincent Twice Vincent Twice, which greatly honored him. In Tales of Terror, Price played Locke, and the Black Cat segment was reused in the Comedy of Terrors. Both films featured overlapping actors, with Peter Lorre as a drunk, Joyce Jameson as the devoted wife, and Price completing the triangle. In Comedy of Terrors, Price and Laura switched roles, and Jameson reprised her role. Additionally, a line from Tales of Terror became a running gag for Bizzle Rathbone in Comedy of Terrors. On a flight to Barcelona for a fantasy film festival, a middle-aged woman approached the actor, excited to meet him. She asked for his autograph, mistakenly thinking he was Boris Karloff. Rather than disappoint her, he humorously brought Karloff back to life and spirit, and signed her item, showcasing his charm and kindness. In addition to his warm interactions, he was a strong advocate for human equality as early as the late 50s, using his platform to support civil rights. His passion for the arts often led him to express interest in performing Shakespeare. This love for classic literature is why he cherished his role in Theatre of Blood, a film that blended his theatrical dreams with his career in horror. The combination of his advocacy, charm, and artistic ambition made him a memorable figure in Hollywood. Vincent Price, known for his roles in classic films like The Comedy of Terrors and Edward Scissorhands, displayed a unique talent for captivating audiences. In The Comedy of Terrors, as Waldo Trumbull, Price raised eyebrows with a memorable scene at a graveside. Meanwhile, in Edward Scissorhands, playing the inventor, Price's scenes were reduced due to his failing health from emphysema and Parkinson's disease. During the Red Scare in the 1950s, Price faced challenges due to his political beliefs. Despite being partly blacklisted for his anti-Nazi and pro-communist views, he managed to save his career by signing a secret oath. In 1954, he disavowed communist sympathies in a letter to the House Committee on Un-American Activities, distancing himself from others who refused to testify. Vincent Price's impactful performances and personal challenges have cemented his legacy as a significant figure in the entertainment industry. Working in the Ten Commandments, the actor saw it as a significant achievement. He expressed that being part of a Cecil B. DeMille film was essential to his identity as a movie actor. He shared this sentiment with fellow actors like Judith Anderson and Edward G. Robinson, who felt similarly. In another notable role, he played Rober in Master of the World. This film featured Charles Bronson, who was credited as Charles Buczynski at the time. Their collaboration began in the House of Wax in 1953, marking an important point in both of their careers. In the 1960s, he teamed up with Peter Lorre in an unsold pilot called Collector's Item, where they portrayed crime-fighting antique dealers. This concept showcased their unique chemistry, even if the show never made it to air. The actor's range and choices in roles contributed to his lasting impact on film and television. Vincent Price, known for his roles as Walter Kine and Nicholas Van Rynn, brought his talent to various platforms. In While the City Sleeps, a Hollywood-made film, Price's scene by the penthouse pool stood out. Additionally, Dragonwick was a radio adaptation with Gene Tierney on the Lux Radio Theater. The actor also starred in How to Make a Movie, part of the Vincent Price movie making the Hollywood Way series. These instances showcase Price's versatility in both film and radio, leaving a lasting impact on his audience. 
Vincent Price's second wife, Mary Grant, gave birth to his daughter Victoria Price on April 27, 1962. In Dragonwick, the actor played Nicholas Van Ryn and had to shed 30 olds for the role. In The Haunted Palace, Vincent Price portrayed Charles Dexter Ward. He and Deborah Paget appeared as husband and wife in one of the three stories in Tales of Terror, directed by Roger Corman in 1962. Vincent Price achieved a significant milestone in his personal and professional life around this time. Vincent Price's early film career had some twists. He was originally set to debut in Prescription for Romance, and later in that certain age but was replaced on both occasions. Interesting trivia connects Price, Christopher Lee, and Peter Cushing, all born near each other's birthdays. These horror legends appeared in Scream, and Scream Again, and House of the Long Shadows. Price's role as Shelby Carpenter in Laura was reenacted on the radio twice, once with original cast members in 1945, and later with different actors in 1954. In 1964, at the request of a personal friend, Vincent Price narrated a brief history of Tombstone, Arizona for a diorama at the OK Corral gunfight site. He recorded the piece in a single take in Hollywood. He received lunch as payment. Price never visited Tombstone, but his narration is still used. Vincent Price played Frederick Lauren in House on Haunted Hill. William Castle met Price on a day when Price had been passed over for a part. Castle described the film's premise over coffee, leading to a collaboration on this and The Tingler. Price declined Jose Ferrer's offer for My Three Angels, but he played the Duke of Buckingham in Ferrer's Richard III at New York City Center in 1953. Vincent Price portrayed diverse characters in his roles, like the menacing figure Baca in The Ten Commandments. In this classic, Price shared the screen with Judith Anderson, who also acted alongside him in Laura. In House of Wax, the actor took on the role of Professor Henry Jared, a character initially named Ivan Igor, but changed to Henry Jared to appeal to a wider audience, avoiding potential alienation of Russian viewers. Additionally, Price appeared as Mr. Morality in The Trouble with Girls, sharing the screen with Joyce Van Patten and Dabney Coleman. Interestingly, this trio later reunited in the legendary TV series Columbo. The interconnectedness of these actors in various projects highlights their versatility and enduring presence in the entertainment world. Vincent Price has left a lasting impact on various industries. In the music world, the hard rock band Deep Purple dedicated their 2013 song Vincent Price to him. Price, being friends with the band, also narrated on Roger Glover's live version of the Butterfly Ball and the Grasshopper Feast in 1975. Moreover, the actor almost starred in a film with Tom Baker and Ian Martyr called Doctor Who Meets Scratchman in the 1970s, but copyright issues halted the project. In an unexpected twist, Price became an honorary member of the Hollywood Cricket Club due to Boris Karloff's invitation, despite having no interest in playing the sport. These anecdotes showcase the actor's diverse connections and influence across different realms. Vincent Price and Cassandra Peterson, known for Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, were close friends. Vincent Price watched Aladdin, the last film he saw in cinemas, and loved it. However, he foresaw unfavorable comparisons to his upcoming film The Thief and The Cobbler. In the Comedy of Terrors, Vincent Price played Waldo Trumbull. This classic was the first of two movies directed by Jacques Tourneur and starred Vincent Price. The second film directed by Tourneur and featuring Vincent Price was City in the Sea, Tourneur's final theatrical feature. In the film Madhouse, the actor portrays Paul Toombs, a character that did not resonate well with audiences. This film struggled at the box office compared to other horror films he had made for American International Pictures. Due to its poor performance, executive producer Samuel Z. Arkoff viewed this as a sign that the cycle of horror films was coming to an end. Despite this setback, the actor maintained a diverse range of interests outside of acting. He had a deep love for opera and was also an enthusiastic gourmet chef. He authored several cookbooks and often cooked meals for his co-stars during filming, showcasing his culinary skills. Additionally, he made a notable appearance in the music world by contributing a short speech about the Black Widow on Alice Cooper's album Welcome to My Nightmare in 1975. This crossover into music reflected his multifaceted talent and interests beyond just acting. Vincent Price, known for his roles in classic films, portrayed various iconic characters. In The Ten Commandments, Vincent Price starred as Baca. Interestingly, both Vincent Price and Charlton Heston appeared as Cardinal Richelieu in adaptations of The Three Musketeers and Robert Neville in versions of I Am Legend. In the movie House of Wax, Vincent Price played Professor Henry Jarrett. 
During a crucial scene where Jared's museum burns down, a mishap occurred on set. The crew accidentally set fires that spiraled out of control, causing a massive inferno and even singeing Price's eyebrows. Despite the chaos, filming continued as melting wax mannequins were difficult to replace. In Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs, Vincent Price took on the role of Dr. Goldfoot. It's intriguing to note that the Italian version of this film gave top billing to Italian comedians, while the English version placed Price and Fabian in the spotlight. Vincent Price's versatility shines through his portrayal of diverse characters in these classic movies. Vincent Price's mother worked as a costume designer. In the film Laura, Vincent Price portrayed Shelby Carpenter. His daughter Victoria mentioned that Vincent believed Jean Tierney played a significant role in the movie's success. Vincent Price's portrayal of the inventor in Edward Scissorhands left a lasting impact on director Tim Burton. Burton sent a copy of his film Vincent to Vincent Price, who wholeheartedly supported Burton's work. This support from a respected figure like Vincent Price was a pivotal moment in Burton's early career, showcasing Price's appreciation for Burton's vision and talent. Vincent Price starred as Paul Toombs in Madhouse, alongside Basil Rathbone and Boris Karloff, who had passed away in the late 60s. Despite their deaths, clips from their previous films were included in Madhouse. Early in his career, due to his tall height of 6'4", Vincent Price faced challenges in securing roles as producers tended to avoid casting actors much taller than the leading men. In Leave Her to Heaven, Price portrayed Russell Quentin alongside Gene Tierney, with whom he had previously appeared in Laura. Vincent Price would often attend showings of his films and costumes, playing pranks on moviegoers. In 1954, he wrote a letter in support of blacklisting. In the film Dragonwick, Gregory Peck was originally chosen for the role of Nicholas Van Wren, but withdrew when the director changed. After the second choice, Laird Krigar, passed away, Vincent Price was given the part. Vincent Price was a versatile actor with a mischievous side. His involvement in films and support for certain causes added layers to his public persona. Despite the casting changes in Dragonwick, Price's talent shone through in his portrayal of Nicholas Van Wren. His ability to adapt and excel in various roles solidified his status as a legendary actor in Hollywood. Vincent Price played the spirit of the nightmare in Alice Cooper's television special in 1975. Charles Ludlam was set to direct Vincent in a production of Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus as at the New York Shakespeare Festival, but Ludlam's death halted the plan. In the movie Laura, Vincent Price portrayed Shelby Carpenter, although his singing scene was left out of the final cut. Vincent Price, known for his role as the inventor in Edward Scissorhands, collaborated for the second time with director Tim Burton and Johnny Depp in this classic. Both films, Edward Scissorhands and Ed Wood, feature Depp's character alongside iconic figures from horror films Vincent Price and Martin Landau's impression of Bela Lugosi. During his early 20s, Price wrote letters exhibiting anti-Semitic views, influenced by his family's prejudices in St. Louis. His daughter's book, Vincent Price, A Daughter's Biography, revealed his sympathy for the Nazi movement in the early 1930s. However, Price's stance on Jews and anti-Semitism underwent a significant transformation, leading to his recognition by the Anti-Defamation League. In an audition in Chicago, Price's unconventional choice to chew gum while walking across the stage secured him the role of Alberti and a prestigious male newcomer award. This bold move marked a turning point in his career showcasing his unique approach and charisma on stage. Vincent Price's journey in the entertainment industry is a tapestry woven with diverse experiences, collaborations, and personal growth, leaving a lasting legacy in Hollywood. Celebrate the legendary actor Vincent Price by sharing your thoughts on his work and legacy in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content honoring creative minds and entertainment. Your engagement keeps the spirit of creativity alive.